All right, it's Halloween and tick tock. The clock is moving. Everything is moving along here at Ames Wholesome Farms. We are growing a lot and learning a lot. This was uh, what I put in, and like I said before, so I'm just coming off irrigation off the pond, which I cleaned out some of the dead branches so you can actually see it. And I got a lot of peppers growing. There's some basil, a cucumber right there still holding on, and just a ton of kale and broccoli and just a bunch of fall plants. Uh, purple basil, which really isn't all that purple. More peppers. I even got some amaranth growing. That was, it was just too hot out here. And so what I did is this is an old hose, and I just drilled holes in it, and it goes around, and it comes up here. And those are a bunch more kale, fruit trees, still some tomatoes, comfrey, more fruit trees, uh, thornless blackberry, some herbs and basil. Like this stuff is probably coming to the end of its season. It's probably about done, but We'll keep going with it for right now. Some mugwort. These are a, a dragon fruit tree that I pulled from the um, botanical gardens and they're, they're just coming up everywhere. They're amazing. So, and then here's some of the fruit trees I planted. This guy's something weird. He was on sale at Lowe's, so I bought it. And my goal is to basically buy a fruit tree a month, you know, because they're just gonna pay dividends overall. And um, citrus. Another citrus out here, and a little tiny guy that my wife ran over the lawnmower. And then this one out here was a lemon tree that it died off last winter, but this actually came back because I left it out. This guy right here, this little sprig, you can actually see what's left of the original stock there. And then the yard itself, it's a lot more green but it's all because this is a feed plot. I came out here and I put a feed plot down and I'm just trying to green it up. And it's, I, it's kind of hard to get mulch right now because all the tree companies are off helping out with Hurricane Michael. But my goal is to sheet mulch this entire yard, especially back here, not close to the house or anything. And then that big giant mess right there is gonna be a greenhouse. And that's the plans. And obviously I got the aquaponics going over here. Things are moving, not as fast as I'd like them to but everything's happening. So, you guys have a good day.